Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 28th of September 2021 and I thought I'd just begin today by giving a bit of a pep talk because I think we all need it really, including myself. Uh, but all I'd say is that if you've come this far to the end of September 2021, without succumbing to the pressure of having a certain very popular treatment. I think you can now count yourself as a very extraordinary person with great resilience, great fortitude, and quite honestly, a very, very sort of great sense of self-worth. Uh, and that's certainly what you should be feeling. I never in all history, and I'm even including the most tyrannical past regimes that you can think of, never has anyone expected their citizens to unwillingly take uh, something into their bodies which is as yet unproven uh, certainly in as far as the medium and long-term consequences are concerned uh, yes okay um, the only parallel that I can think of is in the concentration camps and the gulags where doctors inflicted inmates with kind of uh, experimental treatments against the inmates will but I'm talking about ordinary sort of citizens out in the real world never has anyone come under such pressure as we have uh, you've had all sorts of coercion all sorts of threats all sorts of peer pressure, you've been called selfish, you've been called not doing your duty, sort of in the sort of kind of same way as draft dodgers uh, got slated uh, during the Vietnam War in America. Uh, you've been put on into that same kind of category and the the absolute pressure has just been unbelievable and before i go any further if you are watching this and you have had the treatment uh, maybe under uh, duress i uh, you're very very welcome on this channel as well of course and i can sort of well understand anyone who initially kind of uh, uh, were adamant they weren't going to have the thing and then just got more and more pressured into it uh, because you wanted to keep your job, because you wanted to keep your relationships, because you wanted to keep the sort of ha harmony uh, intact with the people you know. And I think that uh, the very fact that you were put under that pressure and had to succumb to it is a total disgrace as well but if you've been able to withstand it and I've had comments in uh, some of my more recent videos I think uh, there was one person who said they work in I, th I think I believe it was in the health service I'm not totally sure but originally there was kind of 10 of them who were adamant they weren't going to have it and eventually it was just this one person who commented on my videos uh, who was the only one left who hasn't had it all all the other ones uh, originally who weren't going to have it uh, succumbed to the pressure because 
understandably in some senses because of course they've got a family to feed, young kids to feed and they can't afford to lose their jobs. But we are in a relatively small group now and as I say if you've come this far you are now extraordinary because we've had all sorts thrown at us haven't we uh, all the celebrities most of the politicians and other sort of public figures going all the way up to the queen and we've literally had the queen calling the likes of us selfish and we've had government ministers calling us selfish we've been called insane uh, we've been called mentally ill we've been called or asked had asked the question uh, have you joined some kind of cult and unbelievable isn't it um, yeah yeah I'm a member of a cult I'm a, a member of the cult of common sense rational thinking and using my head to make a decision that I'm not prepared to uh, put a certain untried, tested and proven substance into my body over a uh, problem in society that has a 99.9% .9 recovery rate or probably even greater than that if you're sort of uh, fit and healthy. So I've kind of made an assessment and come to a logical conclusion uh, using rational thought, critical thinking and common sense and that is the cult I'm in. But yeah, anyone sort of accusing us of uh, uh, being in some kind of cult, uh, just remember it is you guys, not us, who have drunk the Kool-Aid. So I shall leave that particular one there. So yeah, that's one thing we were accused of. Uh, we were accused of, as I say, being selfish, irresponsible, uh, sort of against society, uh, by all of these uh, sort of big public figures, and yet we have come through it. And that's just the beginning, isn't it? We've been threatened uh, with our jobs, uh, you perhaps, uh, uh, if you're living in certain parts of the world, many parts of the world now, you can't go into pubs, restaurants, shops because of your supposedly unclean status and in many places you are rapidly becoming a second class citizen and where things are at the moment slightly more relaxed than that like uh, the part of the world I'm in I think again it is almost the case that we are kind of classified as a rather selfish group of people so we've had all that we've had all that to endure and there's possibly going to be even more to come going into the um, you know, the winter months. So I think we have taken a lot and if you've come this far, you are truly, truly extraordinary. Now, I believe this thing, this apartheid, this terrible, terrible coercion and evilness cannot last much longer uh, it will probably last some time yet but in the grand scheme of things I don't think it'll be too much longer and I just hope and pray that those people who have put you into this impossible situation that you have endured over these many many months I hope those people in time are arrested tried and given very very long prison sentences which they so richly deserve and I'll be doing my bit to uh, sort of fight that and 
I would sort of uh, say, especially if you are being faced with uh, kind of losing your job, uh, keep any kind of documentation on this handy because it will be coming in useful in years to come as evidence against these people. So I'm going to just finish that uh, there for now. I'll be back later, but just remember you've come through a lot and I do believe there are lights or is a light at the end of the tunnel. We are getting there, but just remain resilient, uh, remain strong, uh, just take strength in knowing that you are a truly extraordinary person for resisting this for this length of time. I don't think it'll be for too much longer. Uh, and let's just come out the other side of this together and we will have the comfort in knowing that we are on the side of good, we are on the side of right, and we are on the right side of history. Tim from Fair Play Now, thanks for watching.